because the question asked by Pradesh, by, by somebody from Madhya Pradesh is that which vaccine is better? Covaxin, Covishield. Somebody will ask Sputnik, then they would ask about Moderna. So is there anything to sort of say that this is one is better over the other? So the answer to that is very, very simple. Take the vaccine which is easiest and available to you and you can finish both the doses quick and fast. So that is the, so all the vaccines are equally safe. All the vaccines are equally effective. All the X vaccines have their own cons. So that is something which is there. Currently, we have to ensure that everybody gets vaccinated quick and fast. So let us look at each vaccine, the pro and cons. The pro for Covishield is that a standard conventional chimpanzee-based adenovector vaccine. This platform has been available for the last 20 years. What we are doing is in the chimpanzee adenovector, we are impregnating the spike protein formula of the COVID virus. It antibodies when it is given in two successive doses. The longer the duration of the second dose, the better is the immunogenicity is what is the claim. The only problem with Covishield is that being a vector-based vaccine occasionally can cause fever, pain at injection site, flu-like symptoms, might need paracetamol sometimes. And there is a minuscule association with a little bit of clots. So that is a challenge. It is approved in most places. And ideally speaking, with the concern of Delta strain, we advocate it to be given after two months, but it may not be feasible right now for government of India. So they are advocating 84 days, so which is reasonable. Then as far as the co-vaccine is concerned, it's a killed vaccine. It has to be given in one month apart. It may not be as immunogenic as a uh, shield, but in pregnancy and lactation may be safer because it's a killed vaccine. Again, a very, very old technology. Third vaccine is a Sputnik vaccine. Sputnik is based on two two different adenovectors given at one month apart. It has a very high efficacy. So among the currently available vaccines, it has the highest efficacy of 91%. Side effects are similar to that of both Covishield and Covaxin are effective against the Delta variant. The side effects of Sputnik are similar to that of Covishield and Covaxin, predominantly like Covishield, but maybe a little lesser. It is again a new vaccine, very good efficacy, approved many countries, more than 60 countries in the world, safe, effective, and uh, has to be given at a short duration of interval. The fourth vaccine coming up is the modern mRNA vaccine, not tested in the Indian population. Very good data of 94% efficacy from the United States, has some data on the variants of concern. So that is where it stands. And the fifth vaccine which will be available in India is Hydus DNA vaccine, similar to mRNA. We'll need three doses for its full immunogenicity, but again is an investigational vaccine. All these vaccines are emergency use authorization vaccines. Whichever vaccine, as early, as quickly you can get, you should take. Now, if you are having an underlying major disease, like an immunological disease, rheumatological disease, cancer, or transplantation, then please talk to your specialist doctor and they may choose a vaccine or two above the other. But currently, my recommendation for everybody is, whichever vaccine you can get as early as possible, well, get yourself vaccinated and try to complete both the doses as quickly as possible. So that is what my, my suggestion is to everybody.